ready. From Lakeland Stadium, it is time for week seven of Adams Cable High School Football. And today, in a Lackawanna Football Conference Division Three matchup, it's the rivalry game between Carbondale area and Lakeland. All brought to you today by Adams Cable Service, by the Comfort Doctors, T.E. Spall and Son, cooling, heating, or plumbing problems? Just call Spall. By Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center, NJS, Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield, for industrial, pneumatic, and hydraulic components. Also brought to you today by Nix X Excavating and Paving, clearing the way for your next project. Tom's Floor Shop, your first step to a beautiful home. Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street. By your local Napa Auto Parts store, Carbondale Auto Parts. Jerry's Tire and Auto Service of Carbondale. Also brought to you by the White's Crossing Sports Shop. McGovern Insurance Agency. Comprehensive coverage with a personal touch. And your starting lineups for today's game presented by the Roselle Department Store. Welcome to week seven of Adams Cable High School football and today we are at Lakeland for the rivalry game between Carbondale area and Lakeland. The Carbondale area Chargers are coming off of a win over Montrose while Lakeland suffered a loss at the hands of the Western Wayne Wildcats. Well Glenn, anytime you get two rivals going head to head, it's usually a great matchup. Well this has always been a rivalry in every sport for, for years and years, Steve, so I expect a good game. You know, Carbondale's coming off a win, Lakeland coming off a tough loss so that together with the rivalry uh, theme should be a good game. Well if you like to throw the football weather conditions could play a key role in this football game as the wind is very very stiff here tonight and the temperatures right now before the game in the low 40s so we expect a great matchup between Carbondale area and Lakeland and it's all coming up next here on Adams Cable High School Football. Now is the time to unleash the internet. With Adams Cable Service you get internet with speeds up to 120 megs. It's the speed you need that blows the doors off of DSL. Connect all of your devices including iPads and other tablets, game consoles, smartphones and computers. Upload and share photos and videos instantly. Stream HD movies in a flash and experience online gaming like never before. Call Adams Cable Service today at 1-888-222-0077 and get internet with speeds up to 120 megs. No one likes to think about it, but auto accidents happen. If you're in an accident, call the professionals at Beston's Collision Center in Carbondale to return your vehicle back to showroom condition. Beston's Collision Center has been committed to excellence by providing the highest quality state-of-the-art repairs and exceptional customer service. At Beston's, their motto is, every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. Beston's Collision Center in Carbondale, their name says it all. At Tom's Floor Shop in Childs, you get a lot more than you'll ever find in your big box stores. Tom, Ronnie, and the staff each have over 30 years experience providing great floors to homes and businesses in northeastern Pennsylvania. Tom's Floor Shop will style your home in contemporary elegance and classic beauty with a wide variety of name brand carpeting, hardwood, vinyl, ceramic tile, and professional installation. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Tom's Floor Shop, Exit 6, off the Casey Highway in Childs. We're here with Head Coach Larry Gabriel, the Carbondale Area Chargers. Coach, seventh week of the season, unbelievable. Now, some of our listeners are interested in playoffs. Now, we know you and Lakeland play in the same uh, league, but in the district, you play in different divisions. Give us a rundown of your situation. We're currently a double-A team in the six classification format. There's five double-A teams competing for four spots. It's looking like the winner of our game against Susquehanna in two weeks is probably has the inside track for that four spot, even though we've both been struggling. Um, Lakeland, on the other hand, uh, they're in uh, AAA. There's seven teams. Six will make it. They're sitting at four or five right now, looking like a, a rematch with Lake Lehman. But both of us are pretty banged up, them more so than us right now. So it should be an interesting game. Okay, Coach. Uh, it, it, well, I, I win at any, in any one of these uh – Weeks could probably put you right into the playoffs pretty solid. Correct, yeah. Okay. Um, with five teams competing for four spots, it's pretty hard to finish in last. <laughs> okay, have good luck. Insurance is more than just a policy. 
It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. Too hot? Just call Spall. Too cold? Just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son, where you'll always get our upfront pricing. Plus, now through Wednesday, own a new energy-saving AC system for just $2.84 a day with our exclusive guarantee. Plus, get 0% financing. We called Spall and not only do we save a lot of money, but they're a name that you can trust. They get the job done fast and they get it done right. Just call Spall or see us now at callspall.com. Mix Excavating and Paving of Carbondale is committed to providing professional service in residential and commercial excavating, land clearing and demolition, foundations, driveways, sidewalks and utility lines. Enhance your property with new paving and steel coating, mulch or stone. For expert service on your next project, count on Mix Excavating and Paving Carbondale. We're here with Dave Pawarczyk, the head coach of uh, the Lakeland Chiefs. Coach, I, I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Larry. Larry, it's the seventh week, you're three and three. A lot of our people are asking us about playoffs. Give us your rundown of where you stand in the playoffs in, in your district uh, division. You know, right now we're sitting, uh, I think I believe we're seated fifth AAA. Um, but we're really not looking forward to playoffs. We're just taking it one game at a time, trying to improve one game at a time, because we're still making a lot of mistakes. Um, as, we're a fairly young team. So, you know, I, I told our guys we're not going to focus on playoffs. We're going to take it one week at a time. And, uh, you know, where the chips fall, that's that's where we'll end up. Well, you know, that's a good way to think. And now, how, how about your uh, your injured people that came uh, come out of uh, last week's game? So we'll, we'll be without uh, Giovanni Spatero this week, our running back, which, uh, you know, that, that's, a, that's a little bit of a hurt on, on us as a team. But, you know, we have other kids that are capable of playing, like Shane Barrett and... Uh, uh, Nick Mancuso. So, you know, we'll, we'll be fine in that area. Uh, Billy Good won't be playing tonight. Um, he tweaked his hamstring again. Um, wow. You know, it's, <laughs> the injury bug has really hit us pretty well, hard this sure year. Has. All right, well, then, we expect, well, it's a rival game. We expect a good one, so good luck to you tonight. Uh, absolutely. Thank you. Yes, sir. Napa know how. Napa know how. Your local Napa dealer, Carbondale Auto Parts, has been serving the area for over 38 years with quality automotive replacement parts, tools, and accessories. Experience the Napa know-how difference with great service you've come to know and trust from the staff at Carbondale Auto Parts, your Napa know-how folks. Napa know-how, Napa know-how, Napa know-how, Napa know-how. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team at NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield, online at NJS. NJSCO.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. Providing the ultimate in professional service is a tradition at Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, Carbondale. For more than 50 years, families in Carbondale and its surrounding area have used our two Hospital Street and 74 North Main Street locations for a traditional service, cremation or memorial services, or a service of personal preference. Contact Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated to handle every detail. Welcome back to Lakeland Stadium. Alongside Glenn Muskowski, Nick Homick, and producer Anthony Cook, I'm Steve Young. 
And it's now, now time for your starting lineups for today's game, presented by Roselle Department Store in Carbondale, where the new line of spirit wear is on display for your favorite team in all sizes for Lakeland, Carbondale area, Forest City, LaSalle Academy, Holy Cross, and Valley View. Going to a formal affair or a special event? Let the experience and fashion advice of Sam Kalura work for you with a perfectly tailored tuxedo by Sarno & Son. Also available at Roselle, prompt laundry and dry cleaning services. It's easy to look your best with apparel from Roselle Department Store in Carbondale, where Sam and the staff are proud to present your starting lineup for today's game between the Lakeland Chiefs and the Carbondale Area Chargers following our national anthem. Back at Lakeland Stadium, time for your starting lineups for today's game, brought to you by the Roselle Department Store. For the Carbondale Area Chargers, who will receive the opening kickoff? At tight end, it's Jose Mendez, a junior. At split end, Joe Mark, he's also a junior. Luke Kovaleski at left tackle, a sophomore. Seth Arthur will be at left guard. Josh Tierney at center, he is a sophomore. Jaden Hayner at right guard. And uh, Jonathan Purvis will line up at right tackle. He is a sophomore. Ray Offner will quarterback the Carbondale offense. Donovan Loomis will be the fullback today, a junior, 6'2 and 220 pounds. And Vinny De Palma will line up at tailback. He's a freshman. Hector Acosta lines up at flanker for Carbondale. Defensively for Lakeland, brought to you by the Roselle Department Store. C.J. Dupree at left end, Cross Douglas at left tackle, Robbie Thomas at right tackle, Robert Romanowski at right end, Chase Nolan and Shane Barrett are the linebackers, Kevin Snyder at left corner, Nicholas Mancuso gets the start at right corner, he's a sophomore, Chris Mellon at strong safety, Dominic Spatero at free safety, and Mike Pigeon is the weak side safety in the Lakeland defensive alignment, and those are your starting lineups brought to you today by the Roselle Department Store. Chris Mellon will tee it up and kick off to the Carbondale area Chargers. And here we go with the rivalry game from Lakeland. Mellon's kick is a high end over end kick and it goes inside the 10 yard line. Looks like it goes off the hands of, we'll check this, it is Parker Curl, I believe. And Carbondale will start this drive deep in its own territory near the seven yard line. Well, that's a, that's a tough way to start the game. You know, it, it was a good kick by... Uh, by Mellon. <coughs> by Mellon, yeah. And, and he came uh, down and made the tackle, too. So yep. He's, he's going to need to be one of those guys who steps up for this team. And I know he's, uh, he's a first-year senior on this team, but, you know, he's going to need to be a guy who's going to... They're going to have to lean on him and Dupree and have to take this team on their shoulders here. So on the first play from scrimmage for Carbondale from the seven yard line, Offner will give it to the running back. The ball is loose, players battle for it and it looks like Lakeland may have it. Let's wait for the official word. Carbondale very fortunate to get that back. Oh, they just get the football back. They dodge a bullet right there. The way that that play was, the way that that Palmo was running that ball, it was almost like he was looking to pass it. Well. It's hard, it's hard to see from here, but, but he, Sucky got it back. You're right. Oh, he's very fortunate. Well, on the second down play, second down and 13 as they lose yardage. A football back at the four. Carbondale will set it up. You know, Coach Gabriel also touched on, they kind of moved to Palmer from the fullback in this wing to, to the tailback position. 
And this time they run the football and the play is goes nowhere. De Palma safety. shut down. Safety. Safety there. And two points for Lakeland very quickly with 11.32 to play here in the first wow. quarter. You don't see that too often. Especially on two straight running plays. So a very difficult start for this Carbondale area football team that has struggled offensively, guys. Uh, only scoring 44 points this year while allowing 223. And they're down quickly, 2-0 against Lakeland. Well, a big night of football all around the area. No bigger game going on than at uh, the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex as Western Wayne takes on Valley View tonight. We'll try to keep you updated on the scores around the area. Well, we got Anthony back in town, so all the all the technical issues can go to Anthony Cook down there. Plus, plus he brought a menu with him, <laughs> so we were good. We're, I'm we're sure ready, he's well we're ready to roll. Well rested, nice and tan mm -hmm. from Florida. I bet you he said he wished he was back there in this weather. <laughs> yeah, he was. We had the heat on in the car driving up. We were nice and warm, and he was still cold after coming from Florida. <laughs> and Nick, I can't tell if you're. Right now, if you're in a thunderstorm or a hurricane, because that wind is really brutal out and there. And I'm trying to put my back to it a little bit so we're not getting you know, a lot of the noise from the wind up here. I need a bigger windsock on this microphone. <laughs> so Ray Offner with a free kick for uh, Carbondale. Yeah, that that uh, first series was, was just messed up right from the kickoff with the mishandled uh, kickoff and then a, a loss of four and then a, then a safety. Not would, the way you want to start the game. Not at all. I wouldn't be surprised if this ball goes straight up in the air. There it and is. it just goes to the 45-yard line of Lakeland, and it's taken there by an up back. Now, if you had the option to do both, I would have I would have teed it up and squibbed it. Yeah, my thought, yeah. Because especially with this wind playing, you know, swirling a little bit, coming across the field, anything you get up in the air is just going to go sideways. So Spatero recovers or gets the football for Lakeland on the kickoff and about a five-yard return to the Carbondale 40. And that's where Lakeland will go to work running its offense, first down and 10. And this is Dupree to keep the football at the 35 and then is run out of bounds by the Carbondale area defense. Donovan Loomis leading the way with the defensive pursuit for the Chargers. He's coming out in the shotgun on this first series. We saw it last week as well. Didn't, uh, didn't really work too well against the stout Western Wayne defense. Well, you know, you got Dupree with the ball. He, he's probably his big, big, biggest and strongest guy on the field. So Carbondale's out their hands full. Second and five for Lakeland. The handoff will go to Shane Barrett. Barrett taking Carbondale defenders with him inside the 30 to the 27 yard line. Dragged down by Seth Arthur. I'm sure Barrett's going to have an increased role here on the offense. See how that affects him on defense. Yeah, we talked about uh, the Valley View Western Wayne game being played at the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex. Well, that field is relatively high, guys, like this one. And uh, the weather conditions there could play havoc in that ball game also. Especially there's no there's no visitor bleachers to break the wind. <laughs> As Dupree keeps okay. with a flag down, he's at the 20, at the 15. And is tripped up near the nine-yard line. I think that's going to come back. Probably a hold. Yep. Preliminary yeah, holding. Homecoming here at Lakeland Stadium, and uh, boy, for uh, the homecoming queen and her court down there on the uh, near sideline in the folding chairs, they're wrapped up in blankets and jackets and. Oh, uh, so are the fans here. <laughs> wow. The, the few fans that are here. <laughs> the dedicated fans are here tonight, There's right? definitely a late arriving crowd. <laughs> Do you blame them? <laughs> no, not at all. It's a smart arriving crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Two nothing if you're just tuning in as Lakeland cashed in on a safety against the uh, Charger offense. 1040 on the call spall scoreboard. And we'll run down the call spall game time weather for you in just a moment as Lakeland will face first down and 20 
From its own 37, Barrett takes the handoff and looks to go around the left side with Again. a flag on the play. Barrett looking for that first yep. down marker is tackled on the play. That's coming back also. Yeah, that flag came Hold again. That flag came in basically by the time he got tackled. Yeah. I mean, he, he did get held. I'm not questioning that, but, you know, throw a flag a little bit. <laughs> Boy, you, you know, I watch uh, the last few years that we've seen Lakeland. Boy, they have committed an awful lot of key penalties in key situations. Uh, they're just killing, killing drives. And your call, Spall Game Time Weather, partly cloudy. Temperature is around 41 degrees. It feels like 38. And precipitation probability, 0%. The wind is from the northwest, and that was it was scheduled to be 8 miles an hour, but I think that's wrong, Nick. I think the temperature is wrong, too. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like 18 up here. They didn't give a wind chill, folks. Oh, smokes. I think it's a little too early for that. First down and 33 from midfield for Lakeland. They will go on a screen pass to Barrett. Barrett with blocking. Barrett at the 30, the 25. Barrett still going. He's got the first down, dragging defenders with him to about the five-yard well, line. You, you see the car guy from Carbondale trying to pull the ball out instead of tackling him there. Flag on the plane. Got another flag here. Wow. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> That didn't blow out of an official's pocket, I, I did it? I don't even see where the flag is. Do you? No. Wow. Obviously, there was a flag on the play. Right. I saw him come over in motion to him. Well, well executed screen pass. I, I don't know what that signal is. I know. I never saw that signal before. Well, it's it's a, must be with the flag. Must be. A, what is that? It must. It, it must have been. Uh, For the personal foul. Personal foul. So what is that, 10 yards, 15 yards? Uh, 10 yard pickup by the play. We'll place the football at the 40. First down and, well, let's first check it. First down and 23 for Lakeland at the Carbondale 40, leading 2-0 with 929 to play here in the first quarter on the call Spall scoreboard. Barrett's got about 100 total yards in his first quarter, and none of them counted. <laughs> Dupree to throw. The pass is complete at the 28-yard line. And that is Pigeon on the reception for Lakeland. Mike Pigeon with his 14th receptions. Reception. He has uh, 204 yards coming into this football game and a touchdown. Well, last week against uh, Western Wayne, Lakeland was held to 33 yards rushing. And here tonight, we'll see if they're going to keep continue to throw the ball with the, I think they have the wind at their back, Nick. Is that correct, Lakeland? Yeah, I guess you can consider it at their back. As Dupree will drop back to throw, lots of time, looking, looking, and overthrows his intended receiver in the end zone. Nick Mancuso, the intended receiver. He is a 5'8", 150-pound sophomore. And the incompletion will stop the clock with 8.39 remaining here in the first quarter. As Lakeland will break the huddle and face third down and 10 from the Carbondale 27-yard line. Junior quarterback C.J. Dupree out of the gun. And he will hand it off inside, and the play goes nowhere. Chase Nolan, the running back, on the carry. He's a 5'11", 190-pound junior in the football game for Lakeland. Kind of like we said about Barrett, he's got 100 all-purpose yards right here in this, this drive, but this well, is about the 10th play of this drive. Yeah. Fourth <laughs> down. <gone> over. <laughs> fourth down and 13 for the Chiefs from the Carbondale 30 yard line. Dupree back to There's throw. Lots of time rolling. Steps up in the pocket. Fires downfield. Nick Mancuso on the reception. That was a perfect First route down, run by Nick Mancuso. And the Chiefs will keep it going with the first down. Inside the 15-yard line, they will spot it at the 13. And here's an update in high school football. 
Western Wayne with a 7-0 lead over Valley View. That's in the first quarter. Now Dupree surveying the Carbondale defense. He'll keep, and there goes Dupree looking for that end zone, and Dupree will go in for a 13-yard touchdown. And Lakeland leads it 8-0 over Carbondale with 7.23 remaining here in the first quarter. On that drive, Nick, uh, you saw a lot of different things. When Dupree was throwing the football, plenty of time back in the pocket, and that time the protection was right there as there was a big hole opened up on that right side for Dupree, and he took it in. Mellon for the extra point. Chris Mellon, good on yeah. the extra point. Nine-nothing, Carbondale area as we go to a break. Providing the ultimate in professional service is a tradition at Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, Carbondale. For more than 50 years, families in Carbondale and its surrounding area have used our two Hospital Street and 74 North Main Street locations for a traditional service, cremation or memorial services, or a service of personal preference. Contact Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated to handle every detail. Your local Napa dealer, Carbondale Auto Parts, has been serving the area for over 38 years with quality automotive replacement parts, tools, and accessories. Experience the Napa know-how difference with great service you've come to know and trust from the staff at Carbondale Auto Parts, your Napa know-how folks. Welcome back to Lakeland as Chris Mellon will kick off. This kick is a beauty. All the way back to about the five yard line and hold on, there is a flag near the uh, 40 yard line of Lakeland. So we might be doing this wow. all over again. Good band tonight, Nick. <laughs> the uh, officials are calling everything tonight. <laughs> Yikes. So a five-yard penalty against the Lakeland the Chiefs will Lakeland. move the football back to the 35-yard line on the offsides penalty. 9 nothing. the Chiefs lead with 7.21 to play here in the first quarter at Lakeland Stadium. Lakeland has four penalties for 40 yards already. It's more than a total offense. <laughs> Mellon will kick it off again, the end-over-end -end kick Mellon from the 15-yard line. Here's De Palma. On the return, and Vinny continues to fight for yardage across the 35-yard line. The follow brought down by Robbie Thomas on the play. First and 10 Chargers. Carbondale will work from its own 35-yard line, first down and 10, here in week number seven of high school football. This uh, Lakeland defense giving up about 18 points a game. Carbondale offensively averaging just over seven a ball game. They've struggled this year, as Offner will send a man in motion. Offner rolling out, wants to throw, fires a pass downfield, very close to, he will have the first down, and that's... Uh, not quite sure who that's to. 18. Vinny De Palma, the freshman on the reception. Well, Nick, we were talking with head coach Larry Gabriel, who is now in his 11th season as head coach, and they rely very heavily on the freshman Vinny De Palma well, he's in the a, offense. He's he the go-to guy. He is their bread and butter. And you know, the one game we've seen him. Uh, Carbondale play, he, he really did stand out. First down for Carbondale as Offner drops back to throw, steps up and will be tackled after a gain of about two on the play. Offner keeps it around the end. Uh, Offner looked like he was little, pretty patient on that one. Did, didn't see anything, tucked it in. Yeah, it's a smart decision. Uh, don't force the ball. I mean, you have decent field position here. You, you really would like to get on the board here on the scoreboard just to keep this game close. 
lot of time left here in this first quarter. Talking to Coach Gabriel before the, before the game, he says they moved it to the 20, but have a hard time in the red zone. Second down and nine for Carbondale from its own 47. As Offner will look to hand it off, going reverse. up the middle, and that play goes nowhere. Inside a reverse. Really look, just got looked muddled like, up. Uh, that might have been Hector Acosta, the junior. Carrying the football, lost yardage inside the 45 to the 44. Brings up third down and about 11 for the Chargers. Josh Tierney leads Carbondale to the line of scrimmage. De Palma will find his spot now in the backfield as Offner will look down the barrel of third and 11. Offner rolling out, rushes on, fires it downfield, and it's thrown out of bounds. Well, he had nowhere to no, go with that. No, uh, nowhere to play. go and nobody open. Uh, and he just had a he had to really get rid of that ball because he felt some pressure. You know, you live to fight another down now. And Ray Offner will punt for Carbondale. Mike Pigeon awaits the punt, standing at his own 32-yard line. Bit of a high snap. Offner gets Good it away. Kick. Great kick. And Lakeland will let this football roll as it continues to roll to the 20. And the Chiefs will work from that point, first down and 10, with a 9-0 lead with just under five minutes to play here at Lakeland on the call small scoreboard. I still don't understand why we've gotten away, why teams have gotten away from putting two deep, two deep men back. If I was the opposing coach, I would just kick it, I'd angle kick it every time. Sure. <laughs> why? You're not giving them the threat of a, of a return. For, for sure. It, in high school, the kids just aren't, you know, most most of the players just can't cover enough ground to go get these punts. You know, it's different when you see the NFL. Those guys are specialists. Of course. And Dupree will hand it off to Shane Barrett, and Shane Barrett breaks oh, a tackle, bounces. goes around the left side, heading for the first down marker. He's got it and more. He is out near midfield, and then is tackled in Carbondale territory at the 45-yard line. Flag on the field. Another flag. At some point, yeah. Shane's gonna go to his line. Of guys, just just help me out. Here. Holding again. <laughs> just getting somebody in the way. You know, Lakeland here in this first quarter has had more yardage taken away from them in this first quarter on the ground than they had in last week's game against Western Wayne. It's a it's unbelievable. Too many penalty well, you flags. Know, they have. 50 yards and penalties already, and that's just 50 yards of penalties. If you imagine what they, if, if they didn't have that, they may, yeah, yeah, may have had three seven, scores already. You're only, what, six minutes into the game, seven minutes into yeah. the game? That, that's, that's unexcusable. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. yeah. We have a timeout while uh, one of the Lakeland players will lace up the uh, spike. Here we go. That's Romanowski who had the uh, problem with the uh, spike, and we're ready to go. First down and seven as Barrett takes the handoff, and this time he's gang tackled by the Charger defense. Picked up of a Carlos tough one. Orta, the sophomore linebacker, leading the way with the defensive pursuit. Poor Shane's got to be out of gas. <laughs> well, he's coming to the near sideline for a break. Connor Nevins will check into the Lakeland lineup wearing number 18. Second down and eight for the Chiefs. Football marked on the Lakeland 22 as Dupree wants to throw near side. He goes to Mellon at the 30. Mellon has it fighting for that first down and I believe he will be very close. Brought down by Guy yep. Let's find out where they yep, uh, spot 11. that football. Yep. Sticks will move on the far side. Lakeland will keep the drive going with the first down. Well, 
Western Wayne with a 7-6 first quarter lead over Valley View as the Cougars answer. Three and a half to play here at Lakeland Stadium as Dupree will take the snap. Plenty of time. Fires the pass near side. Ooh. Pigeon has it and then got whacked by per Parker Curl. That was a tough hit. Game of six on the play brings up second and four. That'll ring your bell a little bit on that. Like tonight, definitely wake you up. <laughs> you There's no up doubt here. about it. <laughs> Kevin Snyder wide on the near side of your screen, as Dupree will take the snap. He'll go on an inside handoff. Chase Nolan out of here. Chase Nolan takes it for the Chiefs to the 38-yard line. 9-0 if you're just tuning in. Lakeland got on the board early as they came up with a safety against the Carbondale offense. They also scored on a touchdown run by C.J. Dupree. Mellon added the extra point. 9-0 Lakeland as we near two minutes remaining here in the first quarter at Lakeland Stadium on this cold Friday night. Hope you're nice and warm wherever you are tuned into the ball game as Lakeland will give it to Nolan once again. And there he goes across midfield, lowers the shoulder and drives to the Carbondale 46. Something wrong there, no penalty. <laughs> Well, Lakeland has a drive going right now in Carbondale territory. They just, uh, Lakeland uh, is getting off the ball pretty good and they're, they're just uh, some major holes being opened by, by the Lakeland line. Now Dupree out of the gun. Dupree looks near side and the pass is complete to Mellon and he's gang tackled by the Carbondale defense at the 42. That ball get tipped at the line, it looked like. They're fortunate yeah. to, to complete that. Worst out of bounds by Guy Musho. Jonathan Loomis. Get a five out of play, brings up second and five. Second down play coming up for Lakeland. Well, it's a good night for chicken soup, guys, at the concession <laughs> stand. It'll be a hot seller. Yes, it is. <laughs> I bet I bet it will be sold out by halftime. If not already. <laughs> We had numbers and names and switches on this Lakeland team. Under a minute remaining here in the first quarter. Dupree That's a fires the pass far side. Barrett has it. Barrett turns it upfield. He has the first down and then drives inside the Carbondale 30. Another flag. Wow. Wow is right. Another hole. Unbelievable. Wow. Holding on the Chiefs. Another play <laughs> nullify. Can you imagine? Wow. The holding call will move Lakeland back to the midfield stripe. They got to be approaching 100 yards in, in penalties. Glenn will tally that up right now as the Chiefs will face second and 13. 60 yards. 60 yards and one. one. And Not even a full quarter yet. How is this the only second and 13? As Dupree, with time, back in the pocket, goes underneath the coverage, fires it incomplete. It is a holding at the, at the spot of the foul? Yeah, but it wasn't at the 40-yard line, I don't believe. Was the flag blew around or something, but... He got tackled around the 40. Pass was intended for Nicholas Mancuso. And the incompletion will stop the clock with 42.9 seconds to play here in the first quarter and Lakeland leading Carbondale 9-0. Play clock now down to 13 seconds. As Dupree will drop back. And this pass is complete to Shane Barrett across the 45. 
inside the 35 of Carbondale and then run out of bounds. And he has another Lakeland nice first down. Don't, don't tell me. Yep, 45 yard line. Flag on the play. I think it's time. You think it's time for uh, Dave Pawarczyk to call a timeout? I <laughs> get the team over and say, okay, guys, let's regroup here. Is this a new official? I know there's a shortage of officials, but. It's the same guy calling every every play. This guy over here? Yeah, the one with the ball. He's a side judge. No, I'm not saying that they haven't committed some penalties, believe me, because I. <laughs> While the officials look to spot the football at the 45-yard line of Lakeland, with what, what was that? What left. was that? Was that a hold again? I. That's a 10-yard penalty. It must have been right. Yeah. Lakeland will face third and 18 from its own 45, with 30 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Kevin Snyder is a wide out on the near side as Dupree drops back, fires the pass downfield, looking for Pigeon, over, throws him at the 20 yard line of Carbondale. Fourth and 18 for Lakeland. And Chris Mellon will come on to punt for the Chiefs. Wow, that wind is wicked. <laughs> He's definitely kicking with it now. So. Vinny De Palma awaits the kick at his own 20-yard line for the Chargers. Good snap, and there's a whistle. That will be a legal procedure. <laughs> Wow. Old Forge leads Lackawanna Trail in the first quarter on the call small scoreboard. Five-yard penalty against the Chiefs moves the football to the Lakeland 40. And Chris Mellon will punt once again. Just gets it away. High booming kick. De Palma will let it bounce at the 29. And it rolls to the 21-yard line of Carbondale. As time expires in the first quarter here at Lakeland Stadium in this week seven matchup between the Chiefs and the Chargers with Lakeland leading by the score of 9-0 on Adams Cable High School Football. Keeping your vehicle maintained and problem free sure can be a challenge. Your go-to source for a complete line of tires and auto services is Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Jerry's Tire offers quality and affordable name brand tires and wheel alignment to enhance your vehicle's performance. For the best tire and auto repair service, call 282-TIRE and make an appointment at Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. The White's Crossing Sports Shop, Canaan Street in Carbondale, is the leading authority for the outdoors in northeastern Pennsylvania. They carry a full line of archery accessories, hunting and reloading supplies, live bait, and a variety of fishing tackle. The White's Crossing Sports Shop is open seven days a week from 7 a.m. until 1 p.m. Call 282-4699 or log on to their website at whitescrossing.com. Finding that unique seasonal outdoor item has never been easier with help from Tom and the staff at the White's Crossing Sports Shop. Well, archery season is here, folks, so if you love the outdoors and get into archery, stop at the White's Crossing Sports Shop for all the accessories you need. Stop in and see Tom and the gang. Tell them the guys on Adam's Cable sent you. As we kick off quarter number two here at Lakeland Stadium, the Chiefs hold a 9-0 advantage over Carbondale, and it will be the Chargers going to work with the football first down and 10 from the Charger 21-yard line. As Offner will hand it off, and the Chargers will keep the football on the ground for a, ga a short gain up the middle. That was De Palma. Handed off to Vinny De Palma, brought down by Cross Douglas on the play. Gain of one brings up second and nine. 
uh, Nick, the Lakeland was under center 24 times in that first quarter and only got 16 plays run. God, that counted. Second down, they'll run the football once again, again. Oh, and the ball was loose. Carbondale will fall on it. And as many years as we've been doing these games, and over the, the, as much football as we've seen, I've never seen a quarter with that many penalties on one Wow, team. that is highly unusual. And I can say that with all the confidence in the world. <laughs> that, that was... A loss of eight on the play. That was very... Uh, <laughs> not something you want to hang your hat on, let me put it that way. Third down and 17 for the Chargers as they operate from their own 14-yard line. And they just can't get going here against this Lakeland defense. Offner will send Acosta in motion. Offner rolling to the near side. He's being chased and then run out of bounds at about the 12, at about the 11-yard line. Well, they'll move it back to the 10. So a loss of about four on the play. And head coach Larry Gabriel wants a timeout with 11, <laughs> with 11 minutes and 13 seconds to play here in first half action on the call Spall scoreboard with Lakeland leading Carbondale 9 nothing. as we go to a quick break on Adams Cable High School Stand football. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. Back at Lakeland Stadium alongside Glenn Muskowski, Nick Homick, and producer Anthony Cook, Steve Young here. 11-13 to play in the first half, and Lakeland holds a 9-0 advantage over Carbondale area. Chargers now facing fourth and 21 from their own 10, and Ray Offner will drop back to the goal line in punt formation for Carbondale. Offner in punt formation, like a pigeon back for the Chiefs. Pigeon stands on his own on the uh, Carbondale 38 yard line. Good snap. Here comes the rush. Offner gets away a good kick. Pigeon will call for a fair catch at the Carbondale 45. Lakeland will end up with good field position, leading in this football game 9 0. And they got on the board quickly in the opening moments of the ball game as they came up with a safety against Carbondale. C.J. Dupree also scored on a 13-yard touchdown for Lakeland. Chris Mellon with the extra point. And that has been your scoring thus far in the contest. Why did they put the ball on the left hash? He didn't feel it there. Ah, uh, Good question, I Nick. I noticed that. Lakeland from the Carbondale 46. Dupree hands it off. Barrett has it. Big hole off left tackle. He has a Lakeland first down at the Carbondale 35. Uh, Lakeland's uh, offensive line just blowing Carbondale right out of there. First down, Chiefs. Chris Mellon and Snyder will be wide on the top of your screen. As C.J. Dupree will run the Lakeland offense. Barrett Rumble. fumbles the football. He picks it up. And Bar Barrett is drilled at the 38-yard line. I believe they'll mark it at the 40. Just not a real good exchange from Dupree to Barrett. But fortunately, Barrett, with great athletic ability, got back and picked up the football. Yeah, he was he was lucky there was nobody from Carbondale in that area. Second 
And Dupree on second down and 15 from the Carbondale 40 with a lot of time. Fires downfield looking for Pigeon. Incomplete. Parker Curl on the defensive coverage for the Chargers. Guy Mushow on the coverage. Guy Mushow, the sophomore, also in on the coverage for the Carbondale defense. Well, Mushow did everything he was supposed to do to separate the receiver from the ball because he was wide open. He had a way for the ball to arrive, and then Mushaw did what he's supposed to do and just get, you know, any way he can, <laughs> knock that ball out of there. Nicholas Mancuso and Kevin Snyder check into the Lakeland lineup. Pigeon will be also wide on the top of your screen on third down and 15 from the Charger 40. And I believe we will have a timeout called by Lakeland. Timeout, Lakeland. With 8.57 remaining here in the first half, it's Lakeland 9 and Carbondale nothing on Adams Cable High School Football. How much bandwidth will satisfy your home's hunger? The average household now uses seven wireless devices a day, including TVs, laptops, tablets, and smartphones. HD streaming and gaming can use large amounts of data and slow down speeds for other users. The more devices you use, the more bandwidth your home needs. So make sure you have enough bandwidth. Get up to 120 megabits per second internet from Adams Cable Service. It's a speed you need to power all your devices. Call today. Too hot? Just call Spall. Too cold? Just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son, where you'll always get our upfront pricing. Plus, now through Wednesday, own a new energy-saving AC system for just $2.84 a day with our exclusive guarantee. Plus, get 0% financing. We called Spall and not only did we save a lot of money, but they're a name that you can trust. They get the job done fast and they get it done right. Just call Spall or see us now at callspall.com. Back at Lakeland Stadium after the timeout, third down and 15 for Lakeland from the Carbondale 40 as Dupree will take the handoff or, or will hand it off, I Three should say, to Chase to Nolan. We're out down by Carlos Orton on the play. Fourth down. So Lakeland tried the running play right up the middle. And the line of scrimmage is marked at the Carbondale 38 yard line. Lakeland will roll the dice on fourth down deep in Carbondale territory as we near eight minutes left in first half action. Why well, that screen has been wide open. I wouldn't yeah, be surprised. Has. And Dupree, with time, fires the pass downfield, incomplete. He had him open. If he, he just had to step into that throw a little bit. Pass was intended for Kevin Snyder. Dupree's pass intended for Kevin Snyder on the play falls incomplete. Yeah, puts Carbonell in a good field position here. Carbonell area Chargers. Chargers will have the football now at their own 38-yard line, trailing 9-0 with 812 to play. Here in the first half on the call Spall scoreboard. As Ray Offner will run the Carbondale offense, they'll go up the middle. De Palma fights for yardage across the 40 to the 42 yard line. Here's an update from Varden as Valley View has taken a 13 to 7 lead over Western Wayne in the second quarter of play. Joe Mark is wide on the near side. On the second down play, second down and six for Carbondale, and they will pick up a first down across midfield as Vinny De Palma carries the football for the Chargers. De Palma's just got to be a little more careful with that ball. He likes to carry it kind of low. First down, Chargers. Get a little defensive back coming across from the backside. He can knock that free. Yeah, it seemed like it was just hanging out there, didn't it? Well, he did a good job, though. Getting the first down to keep the drive going for the Chargers. They are now in Lakeland territory at the 49 with a first down and 10. Trailing 9-0. 
With just under seven minutes remaining in first half action, Parker Curl takes the handoff and there he goes. Off left tackle for a gain of about seven or eight on the play. Brought down by Chase Nolan to Chris Mellon. Well, talking with head coach Larry Gabriel, the problem Carbondale has had this year, guys, is uh, they would uh, get a drive going and then uh, turn the football over. You know, they'd move the ball against teams, but then when they got inside the 20-yard uh, line, they'd turn it over. And right here, they've got a pretty impressive drive going. Second and four for the Chargers from the Lakeland 43. De Palma turns it upfield. His oh, forward yeah, progress will get him the first down, I believe. We'll check the spot of the football for you. It's going to be close. It's a heck of a run. That is a good, uh, great run by the freshman Vinny De Palma. Might be a little shy. Yeah, well, tough to call it from this angle. They might need a measurement. We'll see if the chain gang will come in and check it out. Two finals in baseball, boys. Atlanta three, St. Louis nothing, and, and Houston six, Tampa Bay two, and the Yankees are down one to nothing in the top of the second. What great time of year. Well, Valley, no, View, in the, Valley View in the second quarter out to a 25 to seven lead over Western Wayne. 25, huh? 25 to seven. Well, that happened not fast. Yeah, we'll check and we'll double check the score, but that's the last update we had. From the 39-yard line of Lakeland, Carbondale with a new set of downs on the move. Here in the first half. As Offner will send Hector Acosta in motion. De Palma with the football, and De Palma has another first down for Carbondale. And suddenly, the Carbondale offensive line, especially that left side with uh, Kovaleski and Arthur, they're opening up some huge holes for Vinny De Palma. Well, they certainly have the size. He's got a this young kid drive and open you know, some holes. Yeah, just some young kids playing out there. That's all. First down, Carbondale from the Lakeland 27-yard line. As Offner. Will hand it off. De Palma took the handoff yeah. and then hit a lot still of uh, traffic, but he's still driving. Yeah. And he may pick up, we'll check where the spot will be, but he may pick up about five yards on the carry. Well, that's five yards all by himself. That's right. Outstanding run. Yeah, let's double check that score at Valley View. It's 20 to 7 in the second quarter. 25. Yeah. <laughs> it's two quick ones and no extra points. Yeah. That's uh, 20 to 7. Wow. That's, that's, that's pretty good mathematics yeah, upstairs in the wind. <laughs> my brain's still working. None of my other extremities are. <laughs> He's frozen. <laughs> Costa in motion. Offner will keep as he rolls around left end, heading for that first down. He's got it. And Carbondale will keep this drive going. Very impressive drive here by Carbondale late in the first half. Now they're inside, <laughs> they're inside the red zone here. So let's see what let's they do. Let's see what happens. That's that's been the bugaboo for them all year. Coach Gabriel says once they get in there, have a tough time moving the ball. Football is spotted at the 17-yard line. First down and 10. Carbondale. You notice they're running away from Dupree all the, all night long. Oh, and I will have no day. Timeout called no. by Lakeland with 428 remaining in the first half. Chiefs lead at 9-0 on Adams Cable High School Football. No one likes to think about it, but auto accidents happen. If you're in an accident, call the professionals at Bestens Collision Center in Carbondale to return your vehicle back to showroom condition. Bestens Collision Center has been committed to excellence by providing the highest quality, state-of-the-art repairs and exceptional customer service. At Bestens, their motto is, every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. Bestens Collision Center in Carbondale, their name says it all.
back at Lakeland Stadium after the timeout call by the Chiefs. 428 remaining in first half action. Lakeland leads it 9-0. Carbondale on the move with the football first down and 10 from the Lakeland 17-yard line. And Parker Curl will take the handoff going around the left side and is drilled out of bounds by the Lakeland defense. So guys, uh, maybe Carbondale has found something going around that left side. They've had a lot of success on this drive. Well, they sure have. I mean, nothing really fancy about it. It's just bread and butter of a wing tee. Some sweeps, a couple dives, a couple of dives with De Palma. And it's been paying dividends here. Most especially, it keeps Lakeland off the field on offense. Yeah. Keeps them in the game. I mean, right now, they need to take one, They need to score. Second down and six for the Chargers from the Lakeland 13. And the football Fumble. is loosed. Who, who has it? Players battle for it. No indication on the field as of yet. And Carbondale will keep it. Yeah. That was, was close. That, was that a, a fumble from the exchange? Yeah, from the center? From the exchange. Drive you nuts. So, that, so Offner got that back. That football was about 10 or 12 feet in the air. Looked like Offner just basically pulled out without the ball. Lost about a yard on the play. Third down and seven for Carbondale from the Lakeland 14 with 3.45 to play in the first half. This time, Offner will put Curl in motion. De Palma takes the oh. handoff and then pays the price as he tried to go off left tackle. Something about that play. It looked like it was a little bit of a delay with De Palma there. No gain, fourth and seven. Let's hear it. No gain on that play. Fourth down and seven for Carbondale. Big call here for head coach Larry Gabriel III. clock down here and then take a time out. Give him a little extra time to think about it. Play clock down to four. And Carbondale will call the timeout with five, uh, 254 remaining in first half action, trailing nine nothing against Lakeland on Adams Cable High School football. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team in NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield online at njsco.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. Welcome back to Lakeland Stadium. Alongside Glenn Muskowski, Nick Homick, and producer Anthony Coach Steve Young here. Great to have you with us on this cold Friday night as Carbondale has a no trails by the score of nine to nothing against Lakeland with 254 remaining here in the first half. They face fourth down go. and seven from their own 14 yard line. They called a timeout to talk things over and now Ray Offner will run the Carbondale offense. Offner will keep, drops back, fires downfield, passes incomplete. Inside the five-yard line, now, intended for De Palma. I think it was intercepted. So, so was it intercepted? Yeah, it, yes. it was. Yeah, it was picked off by Lakeland. So, pass was intended for De Palma. Just a little high. Now we do have an update from uh, Varden. As soon as we get the new technology working here. <laughs> Western Wayne has answered as they come back in the second quarter. They trail Valley View by the score of 20 to 15. Interesting. Now Lakeland, this is where uh, last week, uh, you know, 
Lakeland, you know, had a drive going. And Nick, you mentioned you don't want to turn the football over in this situation. And that's exactly what Lakeland did and gave Western Wayne momentum going into the locker room at halftime. You don't want to uh, do that here. And I'm going to say it again. You don't want to do it here. <laughs> yes. You don't want to have another snap go sailing over the center, over the quarterback's head. You don't want to throw it an interception. You definitely, don't want to, you definitely don't want to fumble. You want to be smart. Second yeah. and seven. Makes Lakeland sense that he's under centered. From the Lakeland four-yard line, Dupree will keep. He'll go up the middle and advance the football to about the 13-yard line. And that will result in a first down for the Chiefs. But again, you were in a situation last week. I would, I would take the air out of the ball. I would not line up in the shotgun. I just let this last two minutes run out. You're getting the ball in the second half. You've controlled the defensive side of things pretty much. Well, this time, Dupree will yeah. line up in the shotgun. That's why I'm standing up here. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Freezing. <laughs> Dupree, pump fake, fires downfield, and this pass, yeah. is it complete? Did he Dupree make it? it yes, it is complete to Chris Mellon. Big pass play, and it's complete at the 45-yard line of Lakeland. Well, I think that pump fake that Dupree gave really did uh, buy some Jack time as Mellon was able to come up with the catch. And now the Chiefs will sustain this drive with the first down at their own 45-yard line with a minute and a half remaining in first half action here at Lakeland Stadium. That's a really good catch to keep, to keep his feet in bounds. Thank you, man. He caught that. That was, that was terrific. Lakeland from its own 45, Dupree on the pass play to Mancuso. Short gain on the near side of the field. Pickup of three brings up second and seven. Chiefs in a hurry up offense right now on second down and seven. Dupree with time, scrambling around, wants to turn it upfield, and then we'll run out no, of bounds. This could be a flag. No flag. I don't see a flag, guys. <laughs> they don't call it when it's obvious. Oh. I knew that. Nick, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Boy, all the flags we had in the first half, and it seemed like something that was uh, pretty obvious didn't happen. And I believe we do have a timeout now called by Lakeland with 48.9 seconds remaining in first half action here at Lakeland Stadium. Mix Excavating and Paving of Carbondale is committed to providing professional service in residential and commercial excavating, land clearing and demolition, foundations, driveways, sidewalks, and utility lines. Enhance your property with new paving and steel coating, mulch, or stone. For expert service on your next project, count on Nix Excavating and Paving Carbondale. Lakeland called a timeout to talk things over as they have the football third down and three from their own 48 yard line leading nine nothing with 48.9 seconds to play here in first half action. From the Carbondale 48 yard line. Junior quarterback CJ Dupree out of the shotgun. Dupree keeps he has the first down and much more right up the middle and Parker curled rides him down at the 18 yard line. First down, Chiefs. Chiefs now in a hurry up offense with 39 seconds remaining, and Dupree will spike it to stop the clock with 35 seconds left. Hell, that was a big run by Dupree. Now Lakeland has an opportunity. With uh, the football at the 20 yard line and second down and 10, Nick, now you go for the end zone. Yeah. I, 
I don't know how many I don't know if they have any <laughs> I don't more think they have any left. Not if they spiked it, that's for sure. As Dupree will work out of the shotgun. Dupree with a lot of time pass goes oh, to Chase it. Nolan upended on the play. Now they got to get up on the ball. At the 13 yard line, they have to move quickly. Clock is running with 22 well, seconds to play. Down, so you better have a play, play in mind here. Third down for Lakeland, 15 on the clock. Dupree back to throw. He's looking end zone for Mellon and flag. There it is. Pass interference. As Mellon lost his helmet and the flag came out on the play and it's pass interference inside the five. So with 10 seconds left, Mellon will come to the sideline. Well, Chris Mellon is a Huge target, six foot four. He's 195 pounds. CJ Dupree put it up for grabs. Now let's check where the spot of the football will be. Sure half the distance penalty. So it's going to be about, about like the, a nine yard penalty, eight yard penalty. <laughs> it's going to be at about the eight the yard line. Down. What's it's that? Good, it gives them the first down. Yep. But only 10 seconds on the clock. You got time for two plays here. Two first, shots at the end zone. First and goal at about the seven for Lakeland with 10 seconds left in the first half as they lead Carbondale 9 0. New quarterback in. And Spatero will look for the end zone. He's heading for the end zone and he's got the touch yard touchdown. A seven yard touchdown run for the freshman Domenico Spatero. And with 4.6 seconds remaining in first half action, Lakeland takes a 15 to nothing lead over the Chargers. Officials time out. Got a player down. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team at NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS. Route 6 Mayfield online at njsco.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. Lakeland scored the touchdown. Now they will, we'll see if they will go for two or will they attempt the extra point? Yeah. It looks like uh, uh, Mellon is coming yeah. out, so they will go for the extra point. as Domenico Spatero will hold for Lakeland. You know, Nick, when you think about it, uh, Dupree's been running wild, and, and Spatero was wide open, too, when he got there, so no, nobody really could uh, actually uh, key in on the quarterbacks at all. There's the fake. And Spatero looking in the end zone, and the pass Spatero. is complete. With the pass to Robert Romanowski. As Romanowski takes the pass for the two point conversion, and with 2.1 seconds left in first half action, Lakeland has a 17 to nothing lead over Carbondale area. We'll keep it right here for the timeout. I think they're going to have to adjust the clock. They started on the extra point there. <laughs> <Yeah>. Did they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they'll put yeah. a little bit of time back I think it was on four, the clock. There it yeah. is. There it is. <laughs> Everything's going haywire. Yeah. yeah. Now you talk about a long first half. We had uh, so many penalties in that first quarter. Yeah. Well, luckily the wind has died down a little bit. That's uh, that's good. Oh. Well, uh, it's supposed to be a little, quite a bit warmer tomorrow. Like maybe maybe in the 60s. So, which will okay. be which will be good for us golfers uh, trying to get some more time in before the ugliness comes. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay with me. As the ground will be frozen, Glenn. All you got to do is put it off the tee. Well, <laughs> that's that's I, I, Nick. I like playing on brown grass. 
Oh, sure. Just hit the ball and hit it okay, in the right come spot up, and, like let, playing, and let it run. You like playing on brown grass? Come mm, up in my yard. Yeah, well, <laughs> well I, th I thought that was a forest up there. I'm not sure. <laughs> Chris Mellon to kick it off. And from the 19-yard line, on the return for the Chargers. And it looks like Ednock, Mike Ednock on the return. Michael Ednock on the return. And that will bring an end to first half action here at Lakeland Stadium. With your score, the Chiefs 17 and the Chargers nothing on Adams Cable High School Football. The White's Crossing Sports Shop, Canaan Street in Carbondale, is the leading authority for the outdoors in northeastern Pennsylvania. They carry a full line of archery accessories, hunting and reloading supplies, live bait, and a variety of fishing tackle. The White's Crossing Sports Shop is open seven days a week from 7 a.m. until 1 p.m. Call 282-4699 or log on to their website at whitescrossing.com. Finding that unique seasonal outdoor item has never been easier with help from Tom and the staff at the White's Crossing Sports Shop. No one likes to think about it, but auto accidents happen. If you're in an accident, call the professionals at Bestens Collision Center in Carbondale to return your vehicle back to showroom condition. Bestens Collision Center has been committed to excellence by providing the highest quality, state-of-the-art repairs and exceptional customer service. At Bestens, their motto is, every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. Bestens Collision Center in Carbondale, their name says it all. Providing the ultimate in professional service is a tradition at Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, Carbondale. For more than 50 years, families in Carbondale and its surrounding area have used our two Hospital Street and 74 North Main Street locations for a traditional service, cremation or memorial services, or a service of personal preference. Contact Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated to handle every detail. Keeping your vehicle maintained and problem-free sure can be a challenge. Your go-to source for a complete line of tires and auto services is Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Jerry's Tire offers quality and affordable name brand tires and wheel alignment to enhance your vehicle's performance. For the best tire and auto repair service, call 282-TIRE and make an appointment at Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. At Tom's Floor Shop in Childs, you get a lot more than you'll ever find in your big box stores. Tom, Ronnie, and the staff each have over 30 years' experience providing great floors to homes and businesses in northeastern Pennsylvania. Tom's Floor Shop will style your home in contemporary elegance and classic beauty with a wide variety of name brand carpeting, hardwood, vinyl, ceramic tile, and professional installation. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Tom's Floor Shop, Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. Mix Excavating and Paving of Carbondale is committed to providing professional service in residential and commercial excavating, land clearing and demolition, foundations, driveways, sidewalks and utility lines. Enhance your property with new paving and steel coating, mulch or stone. For expert service on your next project, count on Mix Excavating and Paving Carbondale. They just have to get over that, that, men, that mental block that they can't score. Well, well, we do have an update now on the call Spall scoreboard. Third quarter, Valley View 28, Western Wayne 15. Now Carbondale yeah. will kick off to Lakeland, and this play will be shut down because of a flag. A <laughs> they, good, I got to know who the side judge is. Not a good way to start the third quarter. <laughs> 
Hey, well, he, he rested his arm up in, in, the, in the locker room at halftime, so he's ready to go again. Offside. Unbelievable. Five-yard penalty called against the Chargers. We'll move the football to the 35. Mike Pigeon is deep for the Chargers on the kick return team. 17 to nothing, Lakeland your leader. Offner's kick, squib, bouncing around, taken at the 44-yard line by an up back from Lakeland. Let's see if Lakeland goes right to the air Antonio again. Natale <laughs> Antonio Natale on the recovery for Lakeland and the Chiefs will go to work as the line of scrimmage will be marked at the 45 yard line. That's where the Lakeland, Lakeland will have it first down and 10. 50, 50 number, here we go. Zero, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And our senior citizen we'll witness is Glenn Muskowski. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I was a witness. I wish I like that. I'd like to be a winner. <laughs> it is Dupree to throw. Far side. Looks like Pigeon. Short pass. No gain. Not he much there. Second down play coming up for Carbondale. Check that as Lakeland will have the second down play coming up. Dave Rosencrantz has a ski cap on. That's what I was looking at when I made that last uh, call as Dupree puts it up for grabs. Pigeon with the reception at the 20, and he will go all the way. That will be 55 yards on the pass play from C.J. Dupree to Michael Pigeon. Boy, that was a beauty. He laid that right up there. Pigeon ran right under and... Walked into, almost walked into the end zone. Carbondale defenders ran into each other. Mm. 23 to nothing, Lakeland. As the Chiefs strike quickly here in third quarter action. And Chris Mellon is on for the extra point out of the hold of Domenico Spatero. And Lakeland has a 24 to nothing advantage over Carbondale as we go to a break on Adams Cable High School Football. The White's Crossing Sports Shop, Canaan Street in Carbondale, is the leading authority for the outdoors in northeastern Pennsylvania. They carry a full line of archery accessories, hunting and reloading supplies, live bait, and a variety of fishing tackle. The White's Crossing Sports Shop is open seven days a week from 7 a.m. until 1 p.m. Call 282-4699 or log on to their website at whitescrossing.com. Finding that unique seasonal outdoor item has never been easier with help from Tom and the staff at the White's Crossing Sports Shop. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. Carbondale area will take the kickoff on the return. Mike Ednock and Mike goes across Bubble. the 30-yard line and takes it to the 32 of Carbondale. Brought down by Nick Mancuso on the return. As Nick Mancuso makes the tackle. Well, the Chargers have a lot of work to do if they hope to get back in this ball game, trailing 24 to nothing in the opening moments of quarter number three. First and ten from the Charger 32-yard line. Josh Tierney will lead Carbondale to the line of scrimmage. Joe Mark is a wideout on the bottom of your screen. 
As Offner lost the football, players battle for it. I believe Lakeland will have it at the 34-yard line. It seems like Offner's trying to get out of there without the ball. I mean, he's, he's, he's backing up before he even catches, gets the ball. Yeah, it's, it's been a problem all night. And it's not the first time. It's about the third or fourth fumble from, from center exchange. So Lakeland takes the second half kickoff. And then they score on a 55-yard touchdown pass from C.J. Dupree to Mike Pigeon. Chris Mellon with the extra point, 24 to nothing. Lakeland, now they get the football back. At the Carbondale oh, wow. 34, here's a pass near side to Mellon, and Mellon drives forward for a couple of additional yardage uh, to the 18 of Carbondale. So right now, Lakeland is uh, really dominating the line of scrimmage. And for C.J. Dupree, getting a lot of time to throw the football. And it results in a first down at the Carbondale 18-yard line. Mike Pigeon and Chris Mellon are wide receivers. As Dupree will work out of the gun, he'll give it to Barrett. Off right tackle, and Barrett, after Barrett a short gain, is cut down at the 15-yard line. Brought down by Jaden Painter. Gain of three on the play, brings up second and seven. Lakeland talks things over in the huddle. And they're ready to run their offense on second down and seven from the Carbondale 15 yard line. With an eye formation in the backfield, Barrett again, the ball carrier right up the gut of the Carbondale defense and drives to about carry. the five yard line of the Chargers. Brought down by Seth Arthur. First down, Chiefs. Now, right here, Lakeland really controlling the football game at this point. And with two minutes gone by in the third quarter, and they lead 24 to nothing, knocking on the door with a first and goal from the Carbondale four-yard line. Once again, Dupree now up under center. He will hand it off, and this is Barron, and he goes in standing up into the end zone for the touchdown. Thirty to nothing, the Chiefs with 9:49 remaining third quarter on the call Spall scoreboard, and Chris Mellon will line up for the extra point. Mellon to attempt the extra point. Bit of a low snap, and the kick. Perfect. Good. 9.49 remaining third quarter. Chiefs out to a 31 to nothing lead on Adams Cable High School Football. Now's the time to unleash the internet. With Adams Cable Service, you get internet with speeds up to 120 megs. It's the speed you need that blows the doors off of DSL. Connect all of your devices, including iPads and other tablets, game consoles, smartphones, and computers. Upload and share photos and videos instantly. Stream HD movies in a flash and experience online gaming like never before. Call Adams Cable Service today at 1-888-222-0077 and get internet with speeds up to 120 megs. Too hot? Just call Spall. Too cold? Just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son, where you'll always get our upfront pricing. Plus, now through Wednesday, own a new energy-saving AC system for just $2.84 a day with our exclusive guarantee. Plus, get 0% financing. We called Spall and not only did we save a lot of money, but they're a name that you can trust. They get the job done fast and they get it done right. Just call Spall or see us now at callspall.com. Back at Lakeland Stadium with Glenn Muskowski, Nick Homick, and producer Anthony Cook, Steve Young here. 9.49 remaining third quarter, Chiefs 31, Carbondale nothing. And Lakeland and Chris Mellon will tee up the football and kick off to Carbondale. Mike Ednock deep for the Chargers as Mellon's kick is a high end over end kick from the 10 on the return for Carbondale. It's Ednock out across the 30. 
to the 32 yard line. Down by Mike Ednock is a sophomore, 5'6", 135 pounds, returning for the Chargers on the kickoff. And as Carbondale will go to work from its own 32-yard line, we'll see if they can get something going offensively as they uh, turn the ball over on their last possession. Got to get, got to get some semblance of uh, of, a, of, a, of an offensive series going here. Offner hands it off. De Palma for a first down oh, to nice the 45. That was a great run. I'll tell you, with the way De Palma runs and all of the experience he has gained so far this year, it is going to be something to watch him in the upcoming years, guys. No, absolutely. I mean, because he possesses great speed, good instincts on the field. New set of downs for Carbondale from its own 44, first down and 10. Offner to Parker Curl. This time they go off the left tackle, Curl, and here. Curl advances the football inside Lakeland territory to the 49-yard line. Brought down by Chase Nolan. Now C.J. Dupree will check out of the yes, Lakeland lineup. Robert Romanowski will check in. Carbondale facing second down and about three at the 49 yard line of Lakeland. And Carbondale will go with the running game. De Palma on the carry brought down by Jason Moore. Vinny De Palma, the freshman, getting the call. Yeah, when you th when you think about it, I mean, he's had he has had some great Game runs. On he's only a freshman. He's been the go-to guy all season, yep. also. So for Carbondale, a difficult year here in uh, 2019, but uh, you're going to build a team. You start to build it around mm -hmm. Vinny De Palma. There's no doubt about it. Offner. We'll keep the football. Oh, Let's oh, check it. Loose ball. Lakeland will recover. Robert Romanowski on the recovery for the Chiefs with under eight minutes remaining here in the third. There's a car with lights on in the parking lot. Red Ford Focus license plate number. How do you leave your lights on, guys? <laughs> 9283. Red Ford Focus. Isn't you know, there is an automatic feature on the, well, on the newer cars there is, isn't. maybe it's not a new car. They had to just get here. <laughs> <laughs> Lakeland takes over on its own 47 yard line following the turnover, leading 31 to nothing. Now Shane Barrett, the ball carrier, whacked at the line of scrimmage. Domenico Spatero running the offense for Lakeland. Brought down by Carlos Orta on the play. Gain of two brings up second and eight. Mike Pigeon will check into the Lakeland lineup with the play from head coach Dave Pawartic. Checking out of the Lakeland lineup, Kevin Snyder wearing number 11. Chris Mellon will be split wide on the near side. Pigeon on the top of your screen. On second down and eight. As Patero will hand it off and Lakeland will go right up the gut Robert of the Carbondale Romanowski defense. Robert Romanowski, the fullback, on the carry. Down by Jake on the play. Yep. Three brings up third five. So it's been all Lakeland in this football game. If you're just tuning in, 31 to nothing. And Lakeland got on the sport scoreboard very early. They got two points quickly on a safety against Carbondale. Third down and about four. Barrett takes the handoff, struggles across the Carbondale 45. Is there a flag in there? Yep. Yes, there is a flag at the 46.
holding. Kyle's holding. Called against the Chiefs. And it will move the football back to the 44-yard line of Lakeland. So Lakeland now with just under six and a half minutes remaining in third quarter action, facing third down and 13 from their own 44-yard line as Chris Mellon will come to the near side. And Domenico Spatero out of the shotgun to run the Lakeland offense. And Spatero to throw, and this pass is incomplete. Spatero's pass is intended for Shane Barrett on the play, falls incomplete. Brings up fourth down. And the punting unit will come on for Lakeland. Chris Mellon will drop back. And Vinny De Palma awaits the punt for Carbondale. He will be standing on his own 14 yard line. Rushes on. Ooh, Mellon oh, with a, a nice great lead. kick. Wow, kick with a lot of hang time. Bounces at the 20 and rolls out of bounds. At about the 10. Rolls it out of bounds. Uh, yeah, I, I don't get Nick, I don't get it. Uh, why did he, did he not run up and catch that ball? Uh, yeah, that's that's old news from I last wanted, year. I, I wanted think. to jump in and ask Mike Mancuso that because he said how, how he loved returning yeah. kicks and punts. And, and I'll tell you, Mike Mancuso was, in his day, Nick, was exciting. It was, a di it was different for him because he was fast and he can cover a lot of ground. Yeah and go and feel those yeah. punts. It's different having him back as a single return man, but it, I don't know. I, I just like putting two returners back there in high school and, you know, giving them a chance. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely gives you more options when you have two people back there. First down for Carbondale from the 10 yard line. Parker Curl drilled on the play by the Lakeland defense. Yeah. He, he was uh, two-stepping it back there the instead of hit, hitting the, the hole and going. He just said, uh, can't keep your feet moving and not go anywhere. Shane Barrett led the way defensively for the Chiefs. Third quarter score still at 28-15. Valley View leading Western Wayne on the call small scoreboard. Your score right here, 31 to nothing. Lakeland leading Carbondale with 522 to play in third quarter action. Second and two for, second and 12 I should say, for the Chargers from their own eight yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. De Palma on the and carry. De Palma. Couple of yards on the play around the right side. Brought down by Cross, Douglas and Chris Mellon on the play. And four brings up third and eight. As Carbondale will approach the line of scrimmage on third down and eight from the 12 yard line. High snap and Offner fires the pass with penalty flags down on the play. And that pass is complete to De Palma. It's a foot race, and De Palma is tackled at midfield by Nicholas Mancuso, but there is a penalty flag stand, uh, resting on the 10-yard line of Carbondale. We'll wait for the officials to uh, sort things out. Yeah, that's an illegal procedure call. Yep. <laughs> Another one back. Another what? 50 yarder? Yep. Legal procedure. Five yard penalty brings up third and 13. As we approach four minutes remaining in the third quarter and Lakeland leading 31 to nothing 
Carbondale will look down the barrel of third and 13 from its own seven yard line. As Offner wants to pass, he finds De Palma, and De Palma inside the five is gang tackled by the Lakeland defense. His forward progress will be marked at the four yard line. That's a loss of three on the play. Brought down by Nick Mancuso, Mason Ormsby. Loss of three. So with fourth down coming up, fourth Lakeland six, should get good field position after this punt. And we do have an update from the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex. Third quarter score, Valley View 38, Western Wayne 15. Now, punting situation for Carbondale. And from the 30-yard line, fair catch is called for by Lakeland and Mike Pigeon. Chiefs will have an excellent field position as they will start this drive from the Carbondale 30. Well, Carbondale just can't get going. I mean, they made that one play. I mean, they would have been, they would have changed the field uh, uh, completely on that, and uh, a lot of penalty flags thrown here tonight. So taking a look at the Carbondale schedule, next week they will have an open date. It would have been Holy Cross, but uh, week eight is open for the Chargers. Their next uh, battle will be at Susquehanna on a Saturday afternoon in week number nine as Barrett is strung out on the play by the Carbondale defense. Good job by Vinny DePoma leading the way, along with Carlos Orta, the linebacker. He's a sophomore. Lost a three on the play, brings up second and 13. I guess the big game, as, as Coach Gabriel said, uh, is the Susquehanna game coming up in what is that in two weeks uh, yeah that will be in uh, two weeks week mm -hmm. week nine that will be a Saturday game last year uh, Carbondale lost 21 to 8 against the Susquehanna Sabres second and 13 Shane Barrett takes the handoff goes off right tackle turns it upfield still driving Shane he Barrett will be game. short of the first down by a couple of yards at about the 23 Brought down by Chaz Kovaleski on the play. We will be off next weekend and then back in action again in uh, week number nine right here at Lakeland as the Cavaliers of Scranton Prep will come to Lakeland Stadium to take on the Chiefs. And then uh, the final week of the season, week number 10, Carbondale area and Mid-Valley at the Andrew J. Sarah Sports Complex in Carbondale. Third down and two for Lakeland. From the Carbondale 23, Barrett once again with the football. First down, he's at the 10, cut down at Shane the Barrett six yard the line. Brought down by Hector Acosta, but not until Lakeland's well, first down. For Lakeland here tonight against Carbondale, their offensive line has done an outstanding job, opening up a lot of running room for uh, Shane Barrett and company. Well, just, they have, they have holes to run through they're pretty big. Uh, they, that offensive line, you're right, uh, Steve. They're getting off the ball pretty good. Now, when you're controlling the line of scrimmage and uh, your running backs have lanes to run in, it uh, <laughs> makes uh, for an easy night, and that's what they've had here as Spatero hands it off. And this Chase will be Nolan for the touchdown, a five-yard touchdown for Chase Nolan. He's a 5'11", 190-pound junior. And Lakeland now leads 37 to nothing with a minute seven remaining here in third quarter action on the call Spall scoreboard. So Lakeland has taken advantage of field position in this football game against Carbondale. And uh, every time they had good field position, they cashed in as Chris Mellon is on for the extra point for the Chiefs. Low snap. Good spot by Spatero, and the extra point is good. Lakeland 38, Carbondale nothing. Back with more action after this timeout on Adams Cable High School Football. No one likes to think about it, but auto accidents happen. If you're in an accident, 
Call the professionals at Bestens Collision Center in Carbondale to return your vehicle back to showroom condition. Bestens Collision Center has been committed to excellence by providing the highest quality, state-of-the-art repairs and exceptional customer service. At Bestens, their motto is, every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. Bestens Collision Center in Carbondale, their name says it all. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team in NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS. Route 6 Mayfield online at njsco.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. Welcome back to Lakeland Stadium as the Chiefs will kick off to the Chargers. Parker Curl will let this football roll into the end zone for a touchback. And the ball will come out to the 20-yard line and Carbondale will run its offense from that point. Trailing in the football game, 38 to nothing. And now the 35-point uh, rule is in effect, and uh, there will be a running clock from this point on until the end of the football game. And the uh, rule is the PIAA rule upon completion of the first half of an interscholastic football game at any level of competition or any time during the second half when a team gains a 35-point differential over its opponent. The clock shall be stopped only when an official's timeout is taken, a charged timeout is granted, a period ends or a score occurs. Once implemented, the mercy rule remains in effect even if the differential becomes less than 35 points. So we will have a running clock from this point on in the football game as Lakeland leads it 38 to nothing. 48 seconds to play, third quarter. And Mike Ednock will carry the football. And he is uh, hemmed in by the Lakeland defense. We're out there by Chase Nolan on the play. We'll see if Lake, uh, if uh, Carbondale will get one more play off before the end of quarter number three. I let's see. Let's check the uh, play clock. They probably will not get yeah, another playoff. Third quarter will come to an end here at Lakeland Stadium with your score: Lakeland 38, Carbondale nothing. Here on Adams Cable High School Football. Mix Excavating and Paving of Carbondale is committed to providing professional service in residential and commercial excavating, land clearing and demolition, foundations, driveways, sidewalks and utility lines. Enhance your property with new paving and steel coating, mulch or stone. For expert service on your next project, count on Mix Excavating and Paving Carbondale. Too hot? Just call Spall. Too cold? Just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son, where you'll always get our upfront pricing. Plus, now through Wednesday, own a new energy-saving AC system for just $2.84 a day with our exclusive guarantee. Plus, get 0% financing. We called Spall and not only did we save a lot of money, but they're a name that you can trust. They get the job done fast and they get it done right. Just call Spall or see us now at callspall.com. We're back at Lakeland Stadium for week number seven of Adams Cable High School football. Chiefs and the Chargers in the rivalry game. And uh, it is 38 to nothing, your score. Lakeland leading Carbondale area as we kick off the fourth quarter of play. 35-point rule is in effect, so there will be a running clock from this point of the football game to its conclusion. And the Chargers will run the football. And they try to go around the right side, but Lakeland has it well defended. Donovan Loomis. Donovan Loomis, fullback for Carbondale, 6'2 and 220 pounds. And a junior. Picked up about three. 
Third down and about seven for the Chargers as they operate from their own 23. So Carbondale will get a week off next week. They will take on Susquehanna and Mid-Valley. Next week, Lakeland will go on the road and take on Nanticoke. Chiefs will end their regular season on the road at Dunmore as uh, Mike Ednock scrambles. He's caught at the 30, and his forward progress will be marked at that point as Nicholas Mancuso comes up to uh, make the tackle and help also from uh, Zachary Reeves. That was the football game. Nick, an inexperienced runner stops yeah. dead instead of just getting as much as he can. Yeah. And he'll learn. Yeah, he'll learn absolutely. that. Sure. Now, guys, this was a big win for this will be a big win for Lakeland tonight as they will improve their uh, Division Three record to two wins and no losses. And uh, when you take a look at the remaining games left on uh, Lakeland's schedule as Carbondale will run the football. They have one more league game, and it's on October 25th at Dunmore. Dunmore, uh, they have one more league game remaining with Lakeland, so that could be the title game right there, October 25th. Big game coming up at the end of the year, Lakeland and Dunmore. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth quarter. Joe Mark, a wide out on the top of your screen on second down and four from the Carbondale 36 as the Chargers will pick up a first down. Hector Acosta on the carry. Hector Acosta on the carry brought down by Caden Garrick on the play. <clears throat> Line of scrimmage is marked at the 43-yard line. New set of downs for the Chargers. First down and 10 as they trail 38 to nothing against the Lakeland Chiefs. And Carbondale running the football with Loomis right up the gut of the Lakeland second Loomis string defense. And uh, Loomis takes the football inside the 35 to the 33-yard line. 24-yard run for Loomis. Carbondale right here looking to avert the shutout. As we near nine minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. He's a powerful runner. Ednock carries the football. Fumble, Lost it. Fumble. Ball is loose. Players battling for it. Who comes up with it? Let's wait for the official word. Lakeland has recovered. Wow. That's been the problem for Carbondale all season. They get a drive going and they turn the football over. And, and it you know, happens again. And, and you hate to say it, but it was it was because of his extra effort that he, he tried to get some more yards and which he which he should, right? And then he, he just had too many guys in there with their hands all standing up so anybody can get knocked that out of there. And you can't fault a player for no. a second effort and it just happens at times. And now uh, Carbondale, or I believe, let's check this. I believe uh, Carbondale is going to call a timeout with 835 remaining in the fourth quarter. We'll go to a break with Lakeland leading 38 to nothing on Adams Cable High School football. At Tom's Floor Shop in Childs, you get a lot more than you'll ever find in your big box stores. Tom, Ronnie, and the staff each have over 30 years' experience providing great floors to homes and businesses in northeastern Pennsylvania. Tom's Floor Shop will style your home in contemporary elegance and classic beauty with a wide variety of name brand carpeting, hardwood, vinyl, ceramic tile, and professional installation. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Tom's Floor Shop Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. Providing the ultimate in professional service is a tradition. At Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, Carbondale. 
For more than 50 years, families in Carbondale and its surrounding area have used our two Hospital Street and 74 North Main Street locations for a traditional service, cremation or memorial services, or a service of personal preference. Contact Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated to handle every detail. Back at Lakeland Stadium with 8.35 remaining in the fourth quarter. The Lakeland second team running the football right now as they go up the gut of the Carbondale defense for a short gain on the play. So this should be a, a quick eight minutes, uh, Nick, as the running clock will move continuously. That looked like uh, Nick Mancuso, Mike, Michael's son. So the Lakeland second string in the football game, going to see a lot of playing time here in this fourth quarter. And Spatero hands it off. And this running play goes nowhere as the Carbondale defense will shut it down. Thirty-eight to nothing, Lakeland, your leader. And the, here's a final in high school football on the Call of Spall scoreboard. Old Forge at twenty-six to seven winner over Lackawanna Trail. Del, Del Valley beat Abington Heights 49 to nothing as Lakeland will face third and six from the 29. Fumble. There's another fumble. And I believe, uh, let's check it, Carbondale yep. recovers. Yep. Hector Acosta for Carbondale. Acosta with the recovery. Fourth quarter, Valley View 35, Western Wayne 15. Here's a score for you. Minnesota three, Yankees three, bottom of the fifth. Wow. I'm out Carbondale. Minnesota's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they could hit the they, they could hit the ball. They, they pound some they home led, runs. Uh, they led the league in home runs. They could really, you know. And you know what the Yankees can do. We've seen them enough in this area. The Yankees may not have an easy time with Minnesota. That's going, going to be a tough series. Right here, 7.02 left. Carbondale took a timeout to talk things over. Second unit in there for Lakeland. Both Carbondale ways, now think. with the football at the Lakeland 30 with a first down. Chargers look to avert the shutout. Yeah, it looked like two second units in them. We have Mushau as the quarterback. As Mushau will hand it off to Mike Ednock, and Ednock turns the corner, tries to turn it upfield, and is forced out of bounds by the Lakeland defense. Ednock running the ball hard. He is. He's uh, had a tough, tough last uh, carry where he fumbled, but. Uh, as I said, he, he wouldn't go down, and then the more you stay up, the more hands get in there. Six and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. Second unit in there for Carbondale and Lakeland. Guy Mushau, sophomore quarterback. Off the play fake, will keep and roll around the right side, heading for that first down marker and goes out of bounds and he will keep the drive going with that first down for Carbondale. Picks up the first down.
First down for the Chargers from the Lakeland 15. Both units now, the second string out on the football field for Lakeland and Carbondale. And this running play is shut down. Big defensive stop by Lakeland. Tyler Nellen, sophomore defensive tackle, came up to make this hit for Lakeland. Loss of two on the play brings up second and 12. Second and 12 as we near five minutes left in the fourth quarter. And Lakeland up 38 to nothing. This is a running play by Carbondale as they go around the left end. Ednock, Ednock on once again on the carry. Brought down by Jared McDermott and Gabby Case. Mike Ednock is a sophomore, 5'6", and only 135 pounds at a player down for Lakeland as we go to a break with 4.57 to play here in the fourth quarter on the call Spall scoreboard and Lakeland up 38 to nothing on Adams Cable High School football. Napa know how. Napa know how. Your local Napa dealer, Carbondale Auto Parts, has been serving the area for over 38 years with quality automotive replacement parts, tools, and accessories. Experience the Napa know-how difference with great service you've come to know and trust from the staff at Carbondale Auto Parts, your Napa know-how folks. Keeping your vehicle maintained and problem-free sure can be a challenge. Your go-to source for a complete line of tires and auto services is Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Jerry's Tire offers quality and affordable name brand tires and wheel alignment to enhance your vehicle's performance. For the best tire and auto repair service, call 282-TIRE and make an appointment at Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. Back at Lakeland Stadium with 457 remaining here in the fourth quarter. 38 to nothing, Lakeland leads Carbondale and Carbondale will just run the football right up the middle and advance it to the five-yard line. You show on the carry. Right down by Nailing. Oh, it's first Nick, are you still with us? I'm still with you. Okay. <laughs> Haven't heard from you in yeah, a while. No. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that you were still up there. <laughs> it's uh, a <laughs> long game. <laughs> First and goal. Thought maybe you put the camera on automatic and <laughs> you know, let her go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you hung in there, though, Steve. You weren't feeling the best. Well, I'm surprised you I made it this good. far. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. That chicken yeah. soup at the concession that stand, that, uh, that got remedy. me through it. It did. As Carbondale will take the football to the one-yard line. Zach with the That's knock again. Well, right here for the Chargers, they are just hoping to avert the shutout as they have a perfect opportunity. Second down now and goal from the one. As Mushaw will set them down, they give the football to Ednock. He turns the upfield, and Amazing. Ednock has a one-yard touchdown. Touchdown, Michael Ednock. Michael Ednock for Carbondale. Scores with 347 left in the fourth quarter. And the Chargers are on the scoreboard trailing 38 to 6. I'm trying to get you an update on that uh, Valley View game. It 
It's a final now at uh, Varden. Valley View Cougars win it by the score of 35 to 15 over the Western Wayne Wildcats. Carbondale area right here will go for two. Mu Chow strung out, turning it upfield, looking for the end zone, upended. He's got the uh, two point conversion. 3.47 remaining in the fourth quarter on the Call Spall scoreboard, and Lakeland leads Carbondale 38 to 8 on Adams Cable High School Football. How much bandwidth will satisfy your home's hunger? The average household now uses seven wireless devices a day, including TVs, laptops, tablets, and smartphones. HD streaming and gaming can use large amounts of data and slow down speeds for other users. The more devices you use, the more bandwidth your home needs. So make sure you have enough bandwidth. Get up to 120 megabits per second internet from Adams Cable Service. It's a speed you need to power all your devices. Call today. Too hot? Just call Spall. Too cold? Just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son, where you'll always get our upfront pricing. Plus, now through Wednesday, own a new energy-saving AC system for just $2.84 a day with our exclusive guarantee. Plus, get 0% financing. We called Spall and not only do we save a lot of money, but they're a name that you can trust. They get the job done fast and they get it done right. Just call Spall or see us now at callspall.com. Back at Lakeland Stadium with 347 remaining in the fourth quarter. Lakeland 38, Carbondale 8. Hector Acosta will tee up the football for Carbondale area. And it's been all Lakeland in this football game. And for the uh, final 347 as we move along, Glenn Muskowski will run down some of the uh, scoring summary as Lakeland got off to an early start. Glenn with that safety. Just about a minute into the ball game as this is a short kick Mancuso taken by Mancuso at the 34 yard line up across the 40 and then tiptoes out of bounds near the 46 yard line of Lakeland. Well, actually the first uh, six scores, uh, Steve, were uh, from Lakeland uh, with Carbonell just scoring with a couple minutes, with a minute, about three minutes to go. Uh, the, the safety, then Dupree on a 12 yard run Spatero on a seven-yard run. Uh, Dupree on a 55-yard pass to Pigeon. Uh, Barrett on a four-yard run. And then Nolan on a five-yard run. So the scoring was uh, spread out, and they had a lot of running backs in the game for Lakeland. They all touched the ball quite a bit, and they all contributed pretty well. And uh, for Carbondale, uh, uh, Turnovers uh, and the lack of a good push by their offensive line, except for the one series. They took it down into the red zone, couldn't score, but they came back and scored with the second squad with about three minutes to go. Spatero on a toss play. Reeves will be the ball carrier around the left side, and He's Zachary gone. Reeves may go He's all the gone. way, and he will. <laughs> Zachary, Zachary yeah. Reeves, a senior. Uh, Scores a 50, touchdown. 55-yard touchdown. 55 yards. <laughs> and the never-ending game <laughs> continues. <laughs> well, good for him, though. I mean, that is great. Time in and, you know. That is really a great run by Zachary Reeves around that left end. Well, he possesses great speed as he went around that left end, got blocking, and outran the secondary. And it is 44 to 8. Now Chris Mellon for the point after touchdown. And with 3.01 left, Lakeland leads at 45 to 8 as we go to a break. No one likes to think about it, but auto accidents happen. If you're in an accident, 
Call the professionals at Bestens Collision Center in Carbondale to return your vehicle back to showroom condition. Bestens Collision Center has been committed to excellence by providing the highest quality state-of-the-art repairs and exceptional customer service. At Bestens, their motto is, every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. Bestens Collision Center in Carbondale, their name says it all. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team in NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield, online at NJSCO.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. We're back at Lakeland Stadium where Chris Mellon is ready to kick off for the Lakeland Chiefs after the touchdown by Reeves. 45 to 8, your score. Squib kick hit an up back, I believe, in the face mask and Carbondale will That's return the football to <laughs> midfield. He won't go down in a flag on the play. <laughs> He's going to. Oh, my God. <laughs> this, this. What is he going to possibly throw a flag on? Let's wait for the word from the field. Here's the call. It was basically a rub, rugby scrum. Oh, oh. Face mask. <laughs> this guy must, he must have read the book he, before he, he came had, to. He has to be a new official. And with the face mask penalty, it will move the football to the 30 yard line. And that's where Carbondale will operate from the Lakeland 30 with the football first down and 10. Second unit in there for the Chargers with 2.39 remaining fourth quarter. Yushao hands it off, and this is Mike Ednock running into a wall of defenders, and Ednock with a pretty good run. Gain of about five on the play for Mike Ednock. Maybe we want to get some breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this game is this <laughs> Oh, wow. Yo. <laughs> Nick, uh, on, a nor on a normal week, you have half the, the video done at this point. I'm on my way home by now. <laughs> <laughs> I think Valley View's already checking back into the Valley View High School. <laughs> Second down and six for the Carbondale second unit. Mushaw will roll out, being pursued, and will That's go down, and there's collar. a flag. That's probably a horse Mushaw collar, down, probably. Flag on the play. Well, a minute and 39 seconds remain in this football game. Horse collar tackle is the call. And you heard the uh, penalty. And it stepped off against Lakeland. We'll place the football at the 20. First the 20 and first down for Carbondale. As the clock will begin to run with a minute and 30 remaining here in the fourth quarter. And a whistle. Flag on the play. Wow. False start. And five yard penalty against the Chargers will move the football to the 25 yard line. Well, Steve, Lakeland has just cracked a, well, right on 100 yards. But that's shocking. I, I figured they were approaching <laughs> 200. <laughs> 45 to 8, the Chiefs lead it. Mike Ednock takes the handoff for Carbondale and goes around the right side. Well, he doesn't like to go down, does he? 
Well, you take a look at uh, Mike Ednock. He's a sophomore. Vinny DePalma, a freshman. So Charger backfield in the future will look pretty good as we have under one minute left in this football game. So congratulations to the Lakeland Chiefs as they will improve their Division Three record to two wins and no losses. Overall, they will improve to four and three, while the Carbondale area Chargers will fall to one and six. As Ednock takes the handoff, he's heading for the end zone and he will score a 15 yard touchdown with 29 seconds left. Well, he deserves it. He's working hard out there. Yes, he did. He carried the football a lot here in this second half and uh, takes it into the end zone for Carbondale's second touchdown, and it's 45 to 14. Carbondale's Division Three record will fall to no wins and three losses. As we mentioned, next week, the Chargers with an open date on their schedule. Then in week nine, they will travel to Susquehanna for a Saturday afternoon matinee game and then end their regular season at home against Mid Valley. We will bring you that ball game here on Adams Cable Channel 7. They try for two and uh, they get shut down at the three yard line. For Lakeland, next week they will travel on the road to Nanticoke. Week nine, they'll be back home here at Scrant with uh, Scranton Prep. We'll have that broadcast for you. Then in week number 10, they will travel to Dunmore for the season finale. 45-14, your score with uh, 29 seconds left. Check for some more updates in uh, high school football around the area. Boy, Montrose lost a close football game to Columbia Montour, 22-16. to The uh, Meteors had a chance to uh, pick up a win there, but just could not get over the hump. Old Forge, of course, a 26-7 winner over Lackawanna Trail on the Call Spall scoreboard. Riverside beat Mid-Valley by one, 17-16. That's a final. And, of course, uh, Valley View beat Western Wayne tonight. So the Lakeland second unit will kick off, or the uh, Carbondale second unit, excuse me, will kick off to Lakeland with 29 seconds left in this football game. Thanks for joining us for all of the action here tonight on Adams Cable. Well, Steve, uh, in, the, in the last quarter, maybe a little bit quarter and a little bit more, uh, Mike Ednock had nine rushes for 59 yards and two touchdowns. Yes, he definitely did a good job in the, uh, for the second unit of Carbondale area. This squib kick picked up Spider by Lakeland. Forced out of bounds by Quentin Merrill. And all Lakeland has to do right here is uh, run one play and they will put this uh, Game in the record book, leading have, 45 to 14. Nick, you think we have time for one more penalty? <laughs> <laughs> if we get one more penalty, I might throw this camera off the top here. <laughs> Final nine seconds will tick away, and that will do it. Don't have to snap it. Don't. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's it. It's all over here at Lakeland Stadium. The Chiefs will win it here tonight over the Carbondale area Chargers by the score of 45 to 14. And that is going to wrap it up here at Lakeland Stadium. And it's all been brought to you today by Adams Cable Service, by the Comfort Doctors, T.E. Spall and Son, cooling, heating, or plumbing problems? Just call Spall. By Bestens Auto Body and Collision Center, NJS Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield, for industrial, pneumatic, and hydraulic components. Nix Excavating and Paving, clearing the way for your next project. Tom's Floor Shop, your first step to a beautiful home, Main Street Childs. Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street. By your local Napa Auto Parts store, Carbondale Auto Parts. Jerry's Tire and Auto Service of Carbondale. By the White's Crossing Sports Shop. McGovern Insurance Agency. 
comprehensive coverage with a personal touch. And your starting lineups for today's game, brought to you by the Roselle Department Store. Your final score once again, Lakeland 45 and Carbondale 14 for Glenn Muskowski, Nick Homick, Anthony Cook, and Kyle Kammerer at the Adams Cable Studio. I'm Steve Young. Till next time, so long from Lakeland.